I almost skipped Grok 4 Imagine. It looked pretty basic compared to Google's VO3, but after testing it with a real project, four discoveries completely changed my mind. So in this video, I want to share the four things that shocked and delighted me about Grok 4 Imagine, plus some practical tips in case you're thinking of trying it out yourself. Nomaditsu. So if you want to follow along, you're going to want to go to grok.com slash imagine. So all of my testing has been on a paid account, but I just tried it on the free accounts and I was able to generate videos and images with all the features on the free accounts. So definitely take advantage of that. Okay, so this is the Grok for Imagine interface. And over here, you could see some pre-made images, possibly from the community or just automatically generated or curated by x.com. But what you'll see are some stats images and to give it a spin you just press the play button here and so what's cool is you could just do that on multiple at the same time and check this out there's no limits on other platforms they would you know charge you credits they would throttle you they would put you in a queue and say you're only able to generate two videos at a time here we could generate all of these so you could see the first shock to me was just how fast this generates video we start with an image and boom all of these are animated already. This is the fastest I've seen AI video generated. So when I saw just how fast this was generating the videos, that's when it gave me the idea that, wow, this could be really fun to create a full music video. Because previously when I tried to make music videos, the video generation process was taking way too long. It was taking like minutes to produce a few second clip. So like on Sora or Kling, it would take a couple minutes just to generate, you know, five seconds of video. But here you could see it takes a few seconds and the video is done. So that's when I thought, okay, let me try it with my album art and see if it's any good. So I actually generated all of my AI video for this music video on my phone. So I was using the Grok app, but we're going to try it out here on the desktop. So I'm just going to upload some cover art from my music video and from my album art. And what happens is it just automatically starts generating a video without even a prompt. You just upload an image and right now it's converting it into a video. And you can see here, this is how fast it's going. So already it's at 20%, 30%, 40%. So basically it generates it in like 10 seconds. And now you have a video. When I saw this, I was shocked. So the second shock to me was actually the quality was amazing for the speed at which it generates the video. I was thinking like if the speed of this video generation is that quick and you get this level of quality, like that is enough to do a full music video. That's enough to get a whole concept across. So that's when I thought, okay, I'm going to try to do a full over four minute video just using Grok Imagine. Okay, so we established that Grok Imagine can generate amazing video, especially for the speed at which it does it. It's more than good enough quality to execute a music video. But what good is it if you can't control what the person does, right? So by default, Grok Imagine just generates whatever it thinks the image will do based on the details in the image. But you can control the prompt by going to custom. You can see here there are other settings here. What you want if you're creating a custom video where you want to tell a story, you want to go to custom. And the first thing I tried, if I remember correctly, was like, she maintains an evil smile as she holds up a bloody knife. So let's try it out. And there you go. Shows a bloody knife. So this brings me to the third shock, which is this is uncensored. When I tried to edit this image in other programs or animate it in other AIs, I would get flagged and it would say that I violated the content policies and it can't do it. Can I try a different prompt or a different image? That was another reason why I, I didn't want to do music videos because of all the restrictions. But here, Grog never turned me down once for censorship. It just totally got the horror vibe and let it run. So that's another shock. So if you are doing some edgy stuff, definitely Grok has your back here. So another thing you'll notice is just how dead simple this interface is. It's kind of deceptively simple because you're thinking like, oh, there's, there's no features here. And yet the lack of 
complexity is kind of the feature. And I just want to show you a contrast between Grok Imagine and Kling. Okay, so I just opened up two browser tabs. On the left is Grok Imagine, and this is Kling AI. And you will notice just how stark a contrast the interfaces are. Kling, although it is much higher quality in my opinion, and it has way more features like start and end frames, and you have like this prompt enhancer, you have motion controls, you have sound effects, you have different levels of quality, you have elements. Although it has all these powerful features, it's just overwhelmed. So when you're trying to do a project, it really kind of gets to you with the decision fatigue. So the fourth shock about Grok Imagine is just the dead simplicity is actually one of its best features because the interface just gets out of the way and all you are left with is your imagination with like just your ideas and your ideation. So with this interface, all I had to do was go back to custom and I would just have the same prompt and I would cycle through different things that she could be holding up. So she maintains an evil smile as she holds up, let's say a bat. Okay, so I wasn't actually thinking of a baseball bat, but this is a good example where it doesn't matter. I could quickly change up what she holds up if it was wrong. So before we change the bat that she's holding up, uh, one quick tip that I had to learn from is you need to make sure you download the videos because at least on mobile, it wasn't saving the videos that I generated. So on other platforms, they save the videos that you generate, but it seems like Grok, at least in my experience, didn't save the videos. So you want to download it before you generate a new version if you're iterating on the same image. Okay, so let's try to change this to a bat with wings. So let's try just redo first. Okay, so it didn't save the prompt. So let's say as she holds up a bat flapping its wings. So again, I saved the baseball bat version and we're generating the bat with wings. So there you go. It's not exactly the bat that I was thinking of, but you could see how quickly you could iterate and just jam on ideas. There's no complicated interface to worry about. So you could really just ideate for hours and generate as much as you want. All right, guys, I have my final music video that I'm going to play in the background as we do the recap. So the four shocks of Grok 4 Imagine. Number one, it is blazingly fast. It's the fastest AI video generator that I've ever tried. Second shock is that it's high quality for the speed at which it generates. Like just look at it. It's definitely serviceable for a full project. Number three is it is uncensored. So if you have tried to do some edgy stuff on other platforms or just other platforms are way overzealous with their censorship, then Grok is for you. And the fourth shock was the simplicity. The simplicity is actually a feature. It was amazing. It actually helps you to focus and just think about the concept instead of playing around with all the settings. So that was the fourth shock. And just additionally, it's unlimited. There were no credit system. There's no queue to line up in. And that just overall made it a really fun experience to generate a full music video. So who should try Grok? You'll love Grok if you value speed over maximum quality. You need uncensored creative freedom. You prefer simple tools over complex interfaces and you want unlimited generation without any restrictions. Look elsewhere if you need maximum resolution, advanced controls, and hyper photorealism over creative flow. Final verdict, four out of five stars for the four shocks that convinced me that Grok was the real deal. Grok, imagine, help me solve slow generation problems, creative censorship, complex interfaces, and annoying limitations. So it goes to show you that sometimes the fastest tool with good enough quality beats the highest quality that kills your creative flow. All right, so if you wanna see the full music video with the music, don't forget to hit the link in my bio. And if you're curious about my step-by-step -step creative process, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe for more AI tutorials and reviews and creative experiments. Comment below which shock shocked you the most and share your AI tool experiences below. In the next video, I'll take you behind the scenes of how I made this 
this music video with a bit more of my creative process, the concept development, prompting, strategies, and other workflow tips you won't find anywhere else. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Nomaditsu.